I think I just made a discovery. Nothing like a design as you go project to keep your head scratching. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Tim, this is The Restoration Couple, and today we're gonna have a go at sorting out some heavy duty racking and making something in a few hours that hopefully will last a few years. a bit of a slow and steady start to the year but we're going to get a very much needed project done today it's a one day or even a half day project we're just going to get on with it joe's uh, got the brush out got the diy dressing gown on as usual keep him warm and toasty do i need to break away the paint stuff or is that nice? no no just take anything loose off yeah this is the other half of where the little farm shop area is so this is just going to be dry storage we've got all sorts going on in here and we've just been moving stuff from one place to another. We'd rather use the height of the building and stack it up high. So we're gonna build some simple shelves using material we've got. We haven't got any bolts to fix them into the wall. So we're gonna work with that, improvise, go off the beam instead. That should be fine and then we'll create some supports. It's all about budget friendly and being resourceful and using what we got. About two years ago, I bought a few hundred of these um, well, I guess they are stud work. They're not CLS, they haven't got rounded corners, but I paid about a pound each for them. They're just rough sawn, but they're nice and straight and solid, so we're going to use those. So we're going to anchor everything off this top beam, but unfortunately, such is life, we've got a lot of lumpy walls here. So if I get it in nice and tight and fix this up here, there's no way it's going to be able to remain plumb. And although that might not affect performance, we may as well try and get it right. So I'm going to put one run of timber horizontal along here that'll stand it off and then we can correct it and then the bottom i can use some l brackets if we needed don't we have our buildings yeah where's that handy pencil you've got there Ooh. In this princess, oh, it's got no lead on it. design as you go project to keep your head scratching yeah we should be able to plumb at the front these should kick in it's only that one that's got a block behind it over engineering this and there's a lot of what, a lot of timber but what's what, a shocker what i'm doing is trying to use full length studs where possible because there's a good chance this will all come down in the next year or two two or three years uh, and then we end up with usable length so i start trying to make it too bespoke then we're kind of wasting the wood that's the spirit yeah All at the bottom thing is holding the uprights apart the right length. These are the runners that the boxes are going to sit on. It'll sit back there. Nice. But is it on, is it on and off? Mm, it's not on and off. It's, it's, it's sitting on half of the runner. Yeah. It just means that if you go to take them out, yeah, it could drop. Um, so all you need to do to counter out that is just put a noggin in between them. Then it could never drop down, could it?
Uh, it's nice to use the old big boy again. I only bought it months before we, leave, we left the old house and left that big workshop behind. And now it's just a bit clumsy to carry around, but as soon as we start the house build, it'll be on site all the time. This really is one of those projects where I'm making up as I go along, and it's just probably 50% more timber than I need to be using. But they're quite weighty, some of these boxes, so it's worth doing right, and I've just got loads of this um, sub work, so I may as well use it. How the bottom's looking, these rails just fixed in, so yes, it's relying on the fixings rather than structural support, but I think that's gonna be just fine. Broken five different bits for the impact driver. It's only on half setting. They're not big screws. I just can't, there's two different brands of bits as well. So I'd rather than get through any more of those, I'm just gonna nail the rest. There is nothing like a nail gun to crack on with it and get it done. Uh, so we are pretty much built. I could extend it further that way, but these side doors do actually open. So I've left a bit of a walkway through and I've got a couple of the lightweight black shelving units that I can put for smaller bits. So the idea is we're gonna be using these boxes here. They quite often come out of, I don't know, supermarkets, clothing shops. Um, we bought some online from a containers place, which are these ones, I think via eBay. And then a bunch of other ones which are just kind of tired old ones off the high street. Not quite sure how they get into the Facebook marketplace food chain. Um, but, you know, there was a seller and we bought a load when we moved house. So they are, what are they, one, two, three, four high. This one's going to be a shallower one. These are quite deep ones. We like these because um, this whole batch of grey ones don't have holes in the bottom. So they're quite handy if you want to use them to wash something or soak a tool or something in some rust removal or anything like that. But the vast majority have holes in the bottom. So that gives us 20 units in just this one section here. Obviously we can go up a little bit higher. We could double stack the top. Everything's anchored into that wall plate, that big beam, so it's not going anywhere. And although we designed it as we went stick by stick, it's come out pretty solid. Time to sort out all these. We've got a bunch which are full already. Some of these are just empty ones. We can transfer cardboard boxes into these. Now that the cabin build is done, almost everything we want to be in there while we live there is in. So it's pretty safe to say, apart from Christmas decorations and you know bits and bobs like that, most of this is gonna be long-term storage until the new house is built. And only at that point will we transfer it all. So this is long-term stuff. We will label it, but it's nice to be able to pull them out. As soon as you start stacking these boxes three or four high, like they have been, and you want to get something at the bottom, it just becomes one big ordeal. If everything's here nicely labeled, that's what we want. Well, how did we get on? Three hours, but we we didn't quite get all the way through sorting, but that's like a project in itself, sorting out and decanting stuff down. There's actually a load of these gray boxes in the workshop. Somehow I've managed to prioritize my tools over all our household belongings, and I pinched all these nice, neat ones, so I might swap things around. I've got to get a shipping container to move a load of storage and secure things away up in the top yard next to where the building site will be, Therefore, I'll be able to free up some of these and some space in there, and hopefully this will just look a bit neater. Joe's gonna come down tomorrow and just start moving things into these boxes, but it worked okay. I'm not gonna say it was 100% well thought out or that it was a 100% success rate because they're, they narrow down. So if you were to put it in just slightly on an angle, it can potentially just, it, it won't drop out, but it, they can just tip, tip, so I mean, if you're putting it in straight, it's not an issue. Don't know. I, it'd be easy enough to sort. All you'd need to do is just put a noggin in the middle that way, and then that way there's no chance it can ever dip down into that gap. 
but for the amount of time, so it's not like it's a behind the scenes stock room where you're going to be opening these and getting them in and out all the time. I think it's worked out okay. At this point in a project, it's good to look back and see what you've used in materials. Now I said earlier on that I got these really, really cheap and I did, all this timber's just being sat there. So I'm really quids in because I didn't have to buy a single thing apart from some screws for this. However, we did use quite a lot of materials as far as stud work. We probably used, well, let's count one, two, three, four, five, ten, twelve, fourteen, about twenty, give or take, twenty lengths. But it's quite solid. Now, the alternative would be to find some metal racking, like the stuff you can get at Big Doug or a Cash and Carry. And they have like the chipboard platforms, a bit like the heavy duty pallet racking we've got on the big barn. But I think that would be a bit overkill for here. Plus, they're not cheap. The decent heavy duty saurium racking is quite expensive. And you've got to work out how many bays you've got to need and that sort of stuff. But I don't think we've done too badly. And even though this might not be a design that anyone's ever going to copy, it's food for thought. Final thing we've managed to do is, is not cut down any of the lengths other than the little blocks for the uh, for the shelves so we've got all of these full lengths which have only got a couple of screws in they can all unscrew and we've got perfectly usable softwood for anything we want whether it's dividing walls stud walls we might have to reuse it as firewood one day when we can't afford to pay the bills to heat the house but if any of you have tried anything similar it'd be good to know because we do need to build some with normal flat shelves which we can put some plywood down on and use for things like the cardboard boxes and the and anything that is just loose or small. So if you do have any tips, then let us know down in the comment section below. I think I just made a discovery. All of our belongings were in these boxes. Oh, all of the cardboard boxes we've got, they fit in there perfectly. Yeah, they slide in. Sorry, go on. But on that subject, just shipping containers, uh, it'd be interesting to hear what people's uh, experiences are with insulating them, lining them, just keeping it dry and safe inside because they can be lockable and secure, but if they're going to be full of condensation and everything's going to get rusty or moldy, that's no good either. So I, whether we have to get it spray foamed or whether there's any other alternatives, let us know. We'll be getting it dropped up there probably in the next week or two. I don't really want to start loading stuff into it until it's prepped and ready. Um, Anti-condensation paint might just be the option or some sort of very thin sprayed on coat. But we'll, uh, we'll leave it to you guys. So if you've got any recommendations, let us know. Finally, before I go, I want to reassure you that I'm not being lazy. Uh, Joe and I have been busy with all sorts of things in the last week or two. Hence why there haven't been too many videos here. That said, if you want to check out what we have been up to, it's all over on the DIY Farm channel. I've been fencing 24-7, and well, it feels like 24-7. This was a day off for me. I'm going to put uh, a little bit of footage now of how we're getting on progress down in that lake field. It's been a long old stint, and it's not the easiest ground to fence. Um, I've done the end of the track myself, uh, and my brother came up for the day, so that's all sorted. But we've moved on to that end field now, and fortunately Tom, our contractor, he had a weekend, or a couple of weekends free. So he came along with his tractor and got a load more posts in. So I've been down there the last three days, rolling out and fitting all of the netting. Hopefully get most of that completed. And then this weekend, Tom will come back and we'll try and make a big dent into the actual surrounding banks of the lake. Because that will pretty much be the last bit to do certainly for now so that'll be a fun project for next weekend remember we have a whole host of other videos which are far better thought out well designed cabinets and storage and shelving and i'll see if i can dig a few of those out and put them at the end of this video as for this one it was an off the cuff make it up as you went along and we kind of succeeded i'll leave it there thanks for watching remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time